After gaining proficiency in stalls, you will be introduced to more advanced maneuvers, such as constant altitude steep turns. This maneuver consists of a constant altitude 360 degree turn with a bank angle of 40 to 50 degrees. The practical test standard, PTS, requires that you be able to turn in both directions. Steep turns help you develop coordination of pitch and bank while maintaining altitude at a constant power setting. They also develop smoothness, orientation, and division of attention. Before you enter the maneuver, make sure there is no conflicting traffic in the area. To maintain orientation, select a reference point parallel to your flight path. Section lines, roads, or a prominent landmark on the horizon are all good reference points that help you determine the starting and ending points of the maneuver. Begin the maneuver with the airplane stabilized in straight and level flight at an altitude that will allow you to complete the maneuver no lower than 1,500 feet above ground level. Your airspeed should be at the manufacturer's recommended speed, or if none is given, at or below maneuvering speed. Roll into a 45 degree bank turn with coordinated aileron and rudder pressure. This bank should be smoothly established at a moderate rate without rushing. As the bank steepens, you will need to increase back pressure and add power to maintain level flight. If you do not maintain the proper pitch attitude, the aircraft may enter a steep descending spiral. The natural reaction in this case is to increase control wheel back pressure, which only tightens the descending spiral and increases the possibility of an accelerated stall. If you're losing altitude and the pitch attitude is low, decrease the angle of bank slightly, then bring the pitch attitude back up to level flight and return to the desired bank angle. When you roll out of a steep turn to a designated heading or to your reference point, Use the same procedures as for shallower banks, but initiate the rollout approximately 20 degrees before reaching the desired heading. As the bank decreases, reduce back pressure to maintain altitude and adjust the power to return to cruise. If you use trim during the turn, the last step is to relieve control pressures by retrimming the airplane. As you gain proficiency in steep turns, you may learn to continue from one turn to another without hesitation between the two. The back pressure held in the first turn is reduced during the rollout, then reapplied as the angle of bank increases in the turn to the opposite direction. During this maneuver, you will most likely experience an overbanking tendency. This is due to the wing on the outside of the turn traveling a greater distance than the inside wing. Since it is traveling farther, it has a faster airflow. As more air passes over an airfoil, more lift is produced. This increase in lift on the outside wing causes the airplane to roll beyond the desired bank angle. To counter this tendency, you must apply slight aileron pressure opposite the direction of turn. In addition, because the tail of the aircraft is located aft of the center of gravity of the airplane, it does not track in the same arc. To streamline the fuselage, you need to apply rudder pressure. As you practice steep turns, you will begin to gain confidence in controlling the airplane while your attention is diverted outside. Developing this important skill helps you progress easily into the more advanced ground reference maneuvers.